hello everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing okay so today we're doing the claire's crafty corner christmas collaboration so christmas in july it's quite scary on how far that way uh, how far christmas is away so i am using let's resin i am going to be making a christmas themed tray and i'm going to be doing um some druzies um out of the silicon um, and using obviously the resin as well as the jasmineite as well. Um, I just wanted to keep it with a nice Christmas theme, a nice tray and turn it into a, a bit of a, a nice Christmas candle holder as well. Um, so I will be making a mould, um, a druzy out of that as well. So let's see how this turns out. It's my biggest challenge yet. So let's go. Okay, so first of all, I do need to mix the resin. Um, I am actually just going to make resin pieces out of these um, snowflakes. And the reason why I'm choosing resin is because of the detail in this. It is super, super intricate and I want to make sure I get all the details. So I have actually poured my resin. Um, now I have poured a lot more resin than I expected so I do end up doing something with this as well. Um, also as well I add a bit of ink just so I can add a bit of colour to these so while I'm working with them I don't lose them against the neutral background. So I do add a little bit of blue in that although it does look green on here. It is actually blue. <laughs> but um i just wanted to be able to get these um this resin into the snowflake mold that i've got here um so i can then make um imprints um to, to then be able to do the silicon as well for, to make the druzies that will go into the tray so i just use my lollipop stick i don't do a pour in here i just takes time to be able to do this um, so I just fill these in um, and because I know resin self leveling I know they're going to get all the areas that I need to be able to make these then into little druzy moulds. I do leave these then 24 hours to set before I then pull them off. That was an over pour as well, I did use the over pour for the silicone but look at the details of these little snowflakes and I'm really hoping that when um, I do the next task it would really really pick it up. Um, it's one of those ones where I've never done this before, I don't know if these are going to be too small. Yeah, it's definitely a first time for everything and again as mentioned it's my biggest challenge yet. Now although I actually put um, an ink in this they did not turn out they're still quite transparent um so it didn't turn out as dark as i thought they were going to turn out to be fair but there they are those are my little snowflakes um and it's now ready to do this now i am going to show you this mold um because what i did with this is i put a bit of sand in it i put ink in it um and it was just literally the overpour of the resin that i did um oh my god i love it and i will be doing another video on how i made this um next week so i have got something lined up so i am using the polymer clay now this polymer clay i've had for a while i've not got instructions on how it needs to be baked or anything so it was literally just a trial and error but it was a matter of just imprinting these snowflakes into this to be able to then put them in the oven bake them hard and then be able to fill it with silicon and hopefully then get my druzy molds um, for it. Now I couldn't find any smaller scissors, uh, excuse the ginormous huge scissors for some so small, but I just couldn't find them <laughs> and they were the quickest thing in reach. Um, and again if you are here with me, if you're not subscribed yet, please remember to press subscribe and like this video. Um, it, this is definitely yet yeah, one of the biggest things, I've done so much in this video. Um, normally I would normally break this down and do one or two um and those that are regular or my sub regular to my subscribers i do apologize i'm not being able to produce a video on thursday i normally do tuesday thursday um but it's just been a bit hectic and i had a bereavement um so a funeral to go to so yeah no excuses i know but um this is my second video of the week not the third so i do apologize so it's just making sure that 
there was enough around the edge of these little plastic um, resin, so resin, um, I don't know what to call moulds, just to make sure that there was enough so it wouldn't overflow or waste any silicone when it comes to pouring them. Um, so it was just a matter of just doing that. Now this was the the candle one, um, and then I just put them in the oven. Um, I think I put them in the oven for about half an hour on a gas mark six. I think that was too high. Um, I think they need to be a low gas mark and a longer period of time, but I just didn't have the instructions on this particular one. So I've only poured enough. Now, if you feel, um, if you read the instructions on the Let's, Let's Reddit resin silicon um, instructions, it does say that it needs to be more than 30 mil uh, for it to actually work. So I made sure I poured 40, um, just because I know I know did just a small amount of this for the work that I needed to do, although I still had quite a lot. Um, so what I did in the end is I made a silicon mold out of a pound coin because I keep losing my pound coin locker coins so I thought I'd give a go at making them <laughs> instead of trying losing them all the time so this was me just filling these up um and again I can't believe it's Christmas it's so soon so far yeah I can't believe it so yeah it's it's a, a nice collaboration of th thank you Claire for letting me join in um and yeah with the extra there I just did my pound coin mold um so this is then I think it was 24 hours again later because I didn't want to push it too soon. Um, I did try demolding this and forgot to press record. So that's why it was slightly out already. And I know that there was excess that had to be cut off. So again, I'm just going around the edges. I don't want to, because these are so thin and flimsy, I just weren't expecting them to be that thin. Um, I didn't want to rip them or I didn't know how durable they were going to be. Um, they come away really, really well and there was no stickiness to them on the small snowflakes. Um, but this one, um, although it come away really, really well, um, it did have a bit of an overflow there as well. Um, once I'd pulled it out and flipped it round, the bottom of it was really tacky. So I don't know what happened there. It was actually on the clay um so i don't know why it was tacky um but it it did what i wanted it to do um i weren't sure if it was going to be deep enough for the actual tray um but i knew i had to trim some down anyway um so i did actually start trimming them down um because it needed to be tidied up before i poured the jasmine night on anyway because there was a few overlaps um another tip for you guys um I wanted my mould to look, sorry, there was the pound coin that I did um, as well with the overflow, um, the over pour of the silicon. So this is me just quickly speeding up the trimming. And now this trimming took absolutely ages. Um, it was double this time. Um, I've literally had to speed this process up. So it was just a matter of trimming around the edges and making sure everything was smooth just before I poured on the jasmineite. Um, at a later stage however I wanted to do a bit of resin I wanted to have a resin around the edge of the tray and then white jasmineite in the middle now going by my previous videos I was able to do um, a, a resin pour um, and then put the jasmineite on top and they bonded really really well so they bounded really 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 well oh my god um they, yeah they went really well so i was hoping that that would happen again the later video will show you it doesn't always work because what i've done is i've just gone around the edge here i've done a thin layer of this um and then yeah i've allowed this then to set 24 hours again so it's been a long process um and it's worked out really well um so this is it the, the resin set ready to pour the jasmineite on um so I, I did do that i poured in my two percent white as well because i wanted the tray to be really really white against the blue um actually obviously, obviously you can see i'm kind of going for a frozen type of look with this i think for christmas um so with the blue glitter, the, the white didn't show very well. It was just blue. The, it took over and I poured the jasmineite. Now, if anyone is working with jasmineite this week in this scorching heat, you will know how quickly 
this is cured. I have never poured it where it's been this thick. Normally it's a bit runnier than this. Um, and it was just harder to manipulate. Um, as soon as I mixed it, it was like it was curing already because of the heat. Um, I don't know if anyone else is having that problem. Just let me know in the comments if that's the issue that you guys have been having as well with this heat. But, oh wow, I just tried to work as fast as I can. As you can see, because obviously the, the resin um, is hard, the, the mould's not flexible. So there I am trying to tap it, but then didn't realise that I realised that I hadn't poured enough in because the bottom candle um, druzy was still showing. So I had to make sure that that was enough coverage so we don't have breakage at part of D-mould as well. So again, I've left that. It does set really, really well. Um, however, I still come back 25 minutes later and demold this ready for the final piece just to know what it's looked like. The fact that I've been working on this like near enough all week, every evening, I just wanted to see how it would turn out and I was absolutely gutted. <laughs> it didn't bind. Um, I don't know why. I think it was because it was a thin piece. Um... But normally, when I've always worked with jasmineite and resin, it has. Um, so it might, it might be the fact that it was just a smaller piece um, that it hasn't done it. So this is me just trying to take my druzies out now that I've made. I'm so proud of myself for doing this. I've followed the instructions on Claire's um, YouTube channel as well. Um, and I thought I'd give it a go. And this is what I've done. Um, and I am really pleased on how this has turned out. Um, but what I was saying earlier is when I laid these in the tray, that was the way that I wanted it to be demolded. So what I should have done is put on the other end <laughs> because, yeah, it's come back out. I didn't think what it would look like once it was flipped around the other way. But, oh, my God, it was so good. So absolutely happy on how this turned out. It is absolutely beautiful. So thank you for letting me do this collaboration with you there, Claire. I uh, really love this. And thank you for watching. And please remember to give me the thumbs up. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye.